since a lot of people associate hate what comes out of some content creators mouths I want you guys to take a look at this uh, article from the LA Times that they wrote about Canelo Alvarez keep in mind the person that wrote this article is Latino you know so I'm just wondering is any hate going to be pushed down his way but in the meantime listen to this article and you will see the same shit that I have said will be said here you will hear it people not pleased with what they see with Canelo and how most of the time his fights are considered a joke. But don't take my word for it. This is the LA Times from a Latino. Canelo Alvarez had a chance to elevate his ambitions and it's gone Canelo Alvarez, standing in the ring with a Mexican flag behind him, lifts a fist to make a muscle. Four division champion Canelo Alvarez made his long-awaited return to the ring Saturday, defeating Callum Smith by unanimous decision over 12 rounds at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, John Locker slash Associated Press, by Dylan Hernandez columnist December 20, 2020, 7.43 AM Championship Boxing Match, glorified sparring session, whatever that was, it resembled the afternoon feeding of the red-bellied piranhas at the Los Angeles Zoo. Canelo Alvarez walked down and whacked around a defenseless man for 12 rounds on Saturday night, each thudding blow he landed destroying the delusions of Callum Smith that were manufactured by a British sports scene that overrates its soccer players and really, really overrates its fighters. Rather than elevate Alvarez, the lopsided decision victory confirmed what was already obvious before the opening bell sounded, advertisement Alvarez blew it. He once had a worthy adversary in Gennady Golovkin. They had two close fights that could have been scored either way. But instead of stepping into the ring with Golovkin for a third time, Alvarez argued the favorable jury verdict of the second fight served as the final word. No athletes are judged more by singular moments than boxers. They are defined by how they confront their greatest obstacles and respond to their most intense crises. Perhaps Alvarez didn't realize it at the time, but his rivalry against Golovkin hung on that moment. When Alvarez elected to move on and take on the likes of Daniel Jacobs and Sergi Kovalev, the moment vanished. Now, there's nothing he can do to recapture it, not even fighting Golovkin again. December 19, 2020, San Antonio, TX, Canelo Alvarez and Callum Smith. Sports Canelo Alvarez dominates Callum Smith to win by unanimous decision December 19, 2020 Advertisement Alvarez has the enthusiastic backing of the boxing industrial complex, which has taken to overstating his abilities in an effort to prop up its dead sport. But history will view him more objectively. Time has a sobering effect on perception. As it was, whatever he did against Golovkin was always destined to be diminished. Alvarez waited until Golovkin was 35 to agree to their first fight, which ended in a draw. The initially scheduled rematch was called off because Alvarez tested positive for a performance-enhancing drug. As the sport's number one attraction, Alvarez was convinced Golovkin needed him more than he needed Golovkin. From a financial perspective, that was true. But in terms of his legacy, Alvarez also needed Golovkin. Advertisement The 30-year-old Mexican now finds himself without the potential adversary who could help him realize his ambitions. He talks about wanting to make history but has no way to make it. He promises to make fights the public wants to see, but the average sports fan has never heard of any of his prospective opponents other than Golovkin. Golovkin, who beat someone named Kamal Zirmata on Friday night, is technically available. The operative word in that sentence is technically. Golovkin is now 38, and he looked 38 against Zermada, which is probably why Alvarez is suddenly open to fighting him. Advertisement Alvarez and Golovkin could still pack an arena, but, in this case too, history will eventually see the spectacle for what it is, a fighter in his prime beating up on an old man. Alvarez's other options will produce more mismatches like the one in which he battered Smith, who on paper looked like a reasonable opponent. Smith was the 168-pound champion of one of boxing's credibility-challenged sanctioning bodies. Alvarez defeated Kovalev at 175 pounds but was known as a 160-pounder. Smith stands 6 foot 3, which is tall even for a super middleweight. Advertisement of course, anyone with a rudimentary understanding of boxing who watched tape of Smith could tell he stood no chance. He threw straight punches and had a sneaky right hand but was slow and robotic. 
Alvarez, although seven inches shorter than Smith, immediately started out jabbing him. Alvarez worked at a measured pace but nonetheless battered Smith around the ring. This was an unmitigated disaster. DAZN, the streaming service that broadcast the fight, had promoted this as a serious challenge for Alvarez. If Smith was one of the better options available, that doesn't speak well of the sports talent pool. As much as the network's propagandist announcers tried to portray the blowout as a byproduct of Alvarez's brilliance, the knowledgeable fans who watched this debacle will be less enthusiastic the next time Alvarez takes on another relatively unknown fighter, assuming they watch at all. It would have been one thing if Alvarez had already defeated Golovkin convincingly in a third fight and secured his place as the unquestionable top fighter of his generation. These fights could have been sold as a legend's ride into the sunset. But he didn't have that fight with Golovkin, which make these fights, what, exactly? The best of my career is coming, Alvarez said in Spanish on the broadcast's post-fight interview. At least he's aware his legacy still has to be established. As many name fighters as Alvarez has on his resume, his record doesn't look as formidable when examined closely. His first major fight was against Shane Mosley, who was too small and too old. Miguel Cotto was too small. Amir Khan was too small and never as good as advertised. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. had his father's name but nothing else. Kovalev was finished. Alvarez has taken a number of legitimate gambles and deserves credit for that. But he was fortunate to be awarded victories over Austin Trout and Arislandi Lara, against whom he didn't show well. He looked like an amateur against Floyd Mayweather. Golovkin fought him evenly. About the only high-risk fight he won convincingly was a tactical match against Jacobs. <laughs> a glorified sparring match, okay? Now that's the LA Times, okay? So what do we just prove right here? Number one, we just debunked some of these Canelo fans going around here saying that, you know, the stuff that people are saying about Canelo is because of somebody's color. As you see from the articles that I posted up in this video and in other videos, it's worldwide with Canelo. They just trying to make you think that it's something personal, okay? Canelo has been criticized by Mexican legends, boxers, trainers, fans, and everybody, okay? Glorified sparring match. He said if you really take a close look at um, Canelo's resume, you see that it's some constructed, fictitious bullshit. Like I said, I once was a Canelo fan, and I fell for this shit. Then I actually started listening to people, and I actually started paying attention. I actually started looking, seeing what's actually going on. I actually started studying what he was actually doing. And then my eyes was open, and I ain't looked back since. So, you know what I'm saying? You guys can get an attitude, but at the end of the day, facts is facts.